Willman Education. Welcome dear learners. Today I am going to talk about various forms of speak or say. Speak or say. This is the verb. May I speak to president? May I speak to principal? Various ways you can use. Murmur. This is another form of speak. The meaning of murmur is speak or say very quietly. So when we speak very quietly, we can say murmur. Priest murmurs to altar boy to lighten the lamp in the altar. He murmurs his girlfriend, darling, I love you. Mutter. This is another form of speak. Speak quietly in a low voice that is not easy to hear. She was muttering herself about his stupidity. Mumble. Another form of speak. Speak or say something in a quiet voice that is not clear. You are getting the example now. She mumbled apology for not disturbing her friend. So you can use in different ways in your practical life. Grumble. This is another form of speak. Complain about someone or something in a bad tempered way. Here is the example. If any employee grumbles against his boss, he could lose his job. Whisper. Whisper is also another form of verb speak. But in what way it is used, that we will know. But before that, we must know the meaning clearly. To talk in a low tone, not clearly. So, few examples will clear your doubt. The patient whispers something to doctor. In our practical life, we see patient is not happy with the treatment, not happy with the medicine, not happy with the surroundings, environment. So patient talks to doctor by whispering. The dying man whispers something to the priest. Dying man at his end of life might realize what he or she has done in her or in his life. So accordingly, he or she whispers something to the priest. Women of the village whispered each other that Miller had been cruel. That is son and the Miller story. Bluster. This is another form of speak. What is the meaning? Speak slowly, roughly and angrily. That is called bluster. So many of when we come across this blustering, they blustered each other for their defeat. So when any results does not come, so we bluster each other. Exclaim, another form of speak bhav. But over here, emotion is involved. Speak 
something suddenly expressing strong emotions a feeling of pain pleasure excitement anything is possible she exclaim that her jewelry is stolen that is a sense of terror insecurity he exclaimed how happy we were the old days growl this is another form of speak verb say something in a low angry voice that is called growl many of us we cannot express strongly but that time we in a low voice we say he growled for pickpocketing in the bus when you are pickpocketed that means you become full so nothing you can say much in public but only growled for pickpocketing she growls for missing gold medal in the university maybe for some marks she missed the position in the university so jabber this is another form of speak verb now let us see the meaning of jabber talk quietly in a manner that is difficult to understand this is called jabber so let us see the example the old man jabbers for not getting the reserved seat it happens when old man does not get his reserved seat naturally jabbers the patient jabbered the doctor for releasing her from hospital patient become restless remaining in the hospital shout shout is also another form of verb speak that is emotion say something in a loud voice or speak loudly or maybe speak angrily to someone teacher shouted at the students for not attending the remedial class quite natural teacher is doing everything for the good of the students the students are not attending so teacher shouts scream almost same meaning scream but over here let's see what is the meaning give a loud high cry as a outburst of emotions almost same but there are various ways where you can use it that you have to practice in the sentence mother screamed for her son's safety in gondola when mother finds some insecurity so she screamed for son's safety in gondola gondola is a hovercraft in the mountain area shriek this is another verb of speak verb another form let us see the meaning you give a sudden sharp scream of pain terror or high pitched laughter that is called scream in the party allen gave a shriek of delight expressing the emotion of happiness delight snap another form of speak verb snap here we are coming to know about the meaning speak or say something quickly in a sharp unfriendly manner not friendly manner unfriendly manner ma'am often snaps her students in the laboratory naturally ma'am is responsible in the position so if any st- student or students do anything wrong naturally she has right to do that stutter the meaning of stutter 
speak with difficulty as you cannot say the first sound of a word. He stutters in exciting situations, very common. Stammer. Speak or say something with unusual pause or repeated sound as a result of speech difficulty or fear and anxiety. Here is the example, I used to stammer quite badly when I was young. Many often we see this type of problem in the young age, then slowly it disappear. Sputter, this is another verb of, verb of speak or say. Sputter, let's see what is the meaning. Speak quickly and with difficulty making spitting sounds because you are angry or shocked. In the meeting, minister started sputtering because of the situation. The minister is posing, so he started sputtering. Croak. Generally, frog croaks, but here, when anyone croaks, means speak with a harsh voice as if you have a sore throat infection he crooks her name with great difficulty very common when names are difficult to pronounce rave here is the another speak verb rave shouted in a loud and emotional manner. Rave. Biology teacher must have raved at students for nearly five minutes in the laboratory. Biology teacher must have raved at students for nearly five minutes in the laboratory. Rant. Nothing goes according to expectations, so naturally the teacher get displeased with the students. Talk in a loud, excited and angry way. Rant. After the party, he was ranting about English culture. Many of an we do means any exaggeration. That is. Here is the prattle, another verb of speak verb, another form. Talk continually about unimportant or meaningless things. Sometimes people got this habit and they attract people. The lady parent prattles about the education system, that this is not good, this is not good for the student. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share this channel for more videos. Please subscribe this channel as fast as possible to get more information and lessons. Important reminder.